Hello ladies and gents, and welcome back to Sly Cooper Thieves in Time. Uh, last time we were, uh, running around taking some photos. We met the baddie. Well, gotta look at him anyway. Now we're gonna go meet the baddie. Uh, this is the last episode before I've caught up with my, uh, with a current Let's Play profile. After this we'll be back on the, on the one I've been, on the one that I've been using for the Let's Play. So this will be the last one with the, all my stuff being here. Even though I'm trying not to use it all. Sly, we need to figure out what that bear is up to. That crack in the wall looks like the perfect entrance. But you'd better keep a low profile until we know what's going on. I hear you, pal. Define low profile. There's something sometimes. going on inside that arena, Sly. Cool. Maybe I can catch a rock concert. Get it? Cavemen, rocks, Let's and I'm guessing it's not a swap this. I'm on it, Bentley. In we go. Arpeggio. Lira and mastermind of the Claw Gang sought to rebuild clockwork for his own use. The poor bird just wanted to fly. Immortality is what he says he wants, but he just wanted <clears throat> to fly. Still no word from Carmelita? Don't worry, Sly. I'm sure we'll hear from her soon. Alright. Okay. So, here we have Tar. Not too sure if it's supposed to bubble like that, but here's Tar. Very common thing from the Stone Age. That's something we now pave our road with. <laughs> Nobody wants to hear Dodo. Crawling on in, crawling on in. And let's hear I a know. conversation. I heard when Joe messed up, the boss turned him into a coat for that La Paradox guy. Yeah, that La Paradox is bad news. I heard last time he was here, he yanked this one guy's tusks just for fun. Ouch. Yeah. Good luck talking to the ladies without any tusks. Watch yourself, Sly, and don't alert the guards. I hear you, pal. Oh, no, now I'm just thinking about the fact that there's a mammoth out there named Joe. Alrighty. Well, we're keeping all our profiles, so up the tree branch we go. Da -da -da -da. You can't see me. I am the knight. Wait, we don't have the costume on. Alright. Alright, we're going this way. Oh, I got so turned around. Uh, in the field recording because I couldn't tell where I was going. Also, this icicle should totally be breaking under Slack's weight. I don't care if he's a skinny raccoon. It's an icicle with any type of weight just kind of like shifting on it wow I'm glad I'm not that poor guy what's weird is that he looks kind of familiar wait holy missing links Sly that's a prehistoric raccoon I wonder if he could be my ancestor it's a distinct possibility Let's help him out. Sly, I have an idea. But you need to get that saber-toothed tiger skin. And just don't let the guards see you. I'm on it, Bentley. One tiger skin coming up. <sighs> well, yeah, look now who's we get to be party. one of these poor schmucks. Why am I not surprised he's part of this? That cane man club. Doesn't it look almost like a cane? Sly, you need to hurry. I think you might want to use the paraglider here, Sly. Yes, Bentley. Ooh, that lava took me apart. Anyway, I don't know why I'm collecting coins in this pile. I've already got everything. 
It's like you reached that threshold of you've bought and everything, now you're just collecting coins for the sake of collecting. Which is kind of stupid, but eh. This guy's painting is not improving my opinion of him. Forget about the art. See that key? I bet it unlocks that door. Right. Time for some real art. The art of pickpocketing. Yeah, Van right. Gogh ain't got nothing on me. Come on now. Hold that big fool still. Where is that? Ah, Grizz, you paint mm. so sweet, it looked good enough to eat. Blind mm. bear is ah. blind. Come on. There we go. That's it. I needed it. You got the key. It walks away. Go grab that tiger, kid fly. We're good. My question is, where the hell is the keyhole in this door? Still don't know why I'm collecting coins. But where is this key supposed where is this key supposed to go? That is my question. Eh, whatever. Excellent, Sly! Now get that tiger skin! Ah uh, yes, time to become one of the poor guards. Some poor idiot gave up their life for that. Let's see, any interesting artwork in here? Um, nope. Uh, nope. Pretty landscape, but new. Uh, doesn't look like it. I mean, you got one of him up there. But other than that, also, you can bounce on the bed. Oh. Also, it's got a heart-shaped headboard. <laughs> Hello. I never noticed you there. I just noticed the reflection of the uh, of the mask in the mirror. Now let me out. I never noticed that mask there. I just, it's just bouncing on the bed, looking in this gigantic ice mirror. All right, in a fling. Not really Time to my come, color, become but a... I'll make it work. Time to become a saber tooth. Sly, now get going. Outstanding, Sly. That saber tooth skin is just what we need. If I know my biomechanics, and I do, then I believe those claws will give. Try using a leap to cross that gap. Press and hold the R2 button to target that post. Then press the X button to leap to the target. You know, I kind of forget Bentley can interrupt himself because he just takes so long to talk. Now through the fire and the flames. Now this is this is literally what we're doing. Just pouncing on everything with the saber tooth tiger costume. Including all the saber tooth tigers. No one is safe. Not a little dummy either. Perfect, Sly. So. Yeah, there's a cage match between two do do uh not do duos, that's the Pokemon. Dodos. Dodos. At least I think that's what they're called. Anyway, these two can fight like endlessly. They aren't they're not gonna uh, kill each other. I mean unless you jump into the ring yourself, they're not gonna die. They're, they're not doing enough damage to each other. Funny to watch them like knock each other. And it's kind of interesting just to watch two red triangles on a little mini map just attack each other. <laughs> no, fight! Get on the icicle! Ugh. Almost fell into that tar. I almost fell into the tar. Now slide. Get a good record. And jump <laughs> properly. <laughs> I don't need to break these, but I'm gonna do it anyway. Because. Same with all these. Good coin collecting. Habits hut die hard. Down on the ground. And down. You got of course, it, we just got the costume, so therefore we will all be like, using it non stop. I'm pretty sure Lava's not supposed to do that. 
I mean, does lava... Alright, you can even use that outfit to take out enemies from a distance! Same goes with Try targeting the guard across that gap! Uh, I don't think there's anything up there. Um, charge! Also, the bubbles can interfere your little jump. That could be why the bubbles are there, but me. Yo, make it quick with that stick! The Grizz don't play! I ain't got all day! <laughs> Now that's what I'm talking about. Here's the cheese. Now I want to talk to your boss about my goods. The guards on those pedestals are the ones restraining him, Fly. Take them out and he should be free. Looks easy enough. Be careful, Sly. If you're caught, you'll never get him out of there. This is the perfect situation for your cyclone pounce. Yeah. All these bubbles that you see popping up like at rapid speed. Yeah, those can interfere. So wait for it to is it just me or do these things look like they're going in rapid mode? Alright, so pop no counts. And drop to the ground and be a rug again. Wait for it to pop. Oh that was close. Oh, that was very, very, very close. Ow. And that's in me into the lava. Thankfully not a one-hit KO this time. Maybe a two-k. Maybe a two-hit. And wow. Give me some HP, please. Do, do, do you get me? I don't think we did. Ah, uh, okay. Wait for the bubble to come up. You also have to wait for the recharge meter. <laughs> Which a lot better than the action than the than the other file. But still. Why? That, this we have is amazing! Out. I've run comparison tests, facial features, fur legs, tail volume, and according to them all, that cave raccoon is definitely your ancestor! I believe you found the very first Cooper! I'm not sure I see the resemblance, but I'll take your word for it, Bentley. Hey, big guy, what do you say we get out of here? That's a yes. Well, no, we've never met, but a reliable source tells me we're distantly related. I'm not sure what to say. Um, it, it's truly amazing to meet you. Uh, what's your name? Um, my name's Sly. Sly Cooper. What's yours? Uh, right. How about I just call you Bob? He's right, Sly. You two should get out of there before more guards show up. Come on, follow me. Um, okay, I guess we'll do it your way. Trust the guy that knows the area better? <laughs> I mean, clearly he's not uh, the dainty type like you, Sly. We got Bob safely back to the hideout, where everyone took an immediate liking to him. And he took an immediate interest in our gadgets. While he was busy, Bentley provided the background on his former captor. The guy's name was Grizz and he'd made his fame in the art world. Once a common street thug, he'd been thrust into the limelight when he was plucked from the gutter and made famous by a prominent pop artist. Grizz's primitive artwork was hailed as a brilliant new style called paleo graffiti. And for a while, he enjoyed a celebrity status. His fame was short-lived, however, when people realized his art was really just bad. Resentful, he returned to his criminal roots quickly becoming the top art thief on Interpol's most wanted list. One of Carmelita's main targets, it was now clear how he'd managed to evade her capture for so long. 
After we pried Bob away from Bentley's tools, he explained how Grizz had appeared and started harvesting all the pterodactyl eggs in the area, eliminating his role as food provider for the tribe and greatest egg thief ever. Depressed, he'd gone into a slump and gotten out of shape, which allowed Grizz to capture him and take the new tool he'd invented to help him steal eggs. So it looked like the very first Cooper Kane had been stolen as well. Great. We may have rescued Bob from the arena, but we still needed to find out what sort of operation Grizz was running for La Paradox and why it involved stealing all the eggs. We also needed Bob's help to find the rest of the van parts. And that meant we had to get him back into climbing shape, fast. Poor Murray, he didn't get his pie. But with that, we have caught up with the uh, failed recordings. So next time we will be back in the actual uh, let's play file. So, with that, uh, these videos are actually going to be a lot shorter since I didn't fumble as much. Oh well. It'll be, they'll probably be longer next time. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. And until next time, my beloved audience, I bid you adieu.